In this lesson, I will use Adobe Photoshop painting tools to create a background for an old black and white picture. I will start by creating a new document. From the file menu, choose New. In the New Document dialog box, enter 500 pixels in the Width field and 500 pixels in the Height field. From the Mode menu, choose RGB and the White Background options. To bring the working area to the center of the screen, I will click on the Full Screen Mode button. From the Swatches palette, I will pick a gray color to fill the image by using the Ctrl A shortcut to select the entire image. Then, by using the Alt Delete shortcut, the selection will be filled with the foreground color. Let's draw some diagonal lines using different colors, brush sizes, and opacity. I will set the Wet Edges option to On to add more lines. When I am finished, I will save the image. Please notice that when I choose the Eraser tool and move it over the image, the No symbol appears, indicating that this layer is locked. I will unlock the layer by unchecking the Lock option. By using the eraser tool in the paintbrush mode and 100 pixel size, I will erase part of the image in the middle section. Then, I will use a smaller brush and reduce the opacity to erase more around the edges in order to create a brush stroke effect. I will choose the Dodge tool to darken the edges of the background by setting the brush size to 100 pixels, the range to mid-tone, and the exposure to 50%. Then I will save the file. From the Select menu, Choose All to select the entire image. While the Image and the Move tool are selected, clicking the up and down arrow keys will move all the solid pixels by one pixel at a time. From the Select menu, choose Feather. Set the Feather value to 4 pixels. In the Layer palette, click the New Layer button. A new layer, named Layer 1, appears. Drag the new created layer under the existing layer 0. From the Edit menu, choose the command Fill and choose the foreground color at 100% opacity. From the Select menu, choose Deselect. While Layer 1 is still selected, Use the Move tool to offset the layer to create a drop shadow effect. From the File menu, open Image 1 using the Open command. Using the Move tool, click and drag Image 1 over the background image. The moved image appears in its own layer named Layer 2. In the Layers palette, drag Layer 2 at the bottom of Layer 1. While Layer 2 is still selected, use the Move tool to center the picture behind the background. 
Flatten all the layers to decrease the file size and use the Save As command to keep the original background file untouched.